Hello and welcome to My Finance Teacher YouTube channel. Let's continue our discussion of unemployment. Having introduced unemployment in uh, one of the previous videos, you will see the link to that video at the top of your screen. Now let's talk about different types of unemployment. There are three types of unemployment. Frictional unemployment, structural unemployment and cyclical unemployment. Frictional unemployment is unemployment that results from natural movement and turnover within the job market. For example, new graduates are constantly entering job market every year. People retire from the job market all the time. New businesses launch and businesses expand all the time while other businesses close down. All of that creates turnover in the job market and that turnover results in some level of unemployment. This unemployment, frictional unemployment, is not necessarily a bad thing. For example, after graduating, students might want to spend some time looking for a suitable job, which would lead to temporary frictional unemployment for those graduates. If they were to avoid frictional unemployment completely, they would have to take the first job that that is available to them, which might not be their best choice. Now, another type of unemployment is structural unemployment. It is unemployment that happens due to a mismatch between generally the skills required in a given location and the skills available on the job market. Generally, it happens with a significant technological change or significant change in the industrial composition of the country. That might happen due to competition because of globalization or due to technological progress. This is also not necessarily a bad type of unemployment uh, because we do want to have some level of competition between the industries of different countries and we do want to experience the technological progress. Another type of unemployment is cyclical unemployment. Remember the business cycles? Those ups and downs in the gross domestic product that the country produces. Whenever GDP decreases, a lot of companies close down, a lot of companies decrease in their size. Whenever GDP decreases, we experience a recession. And that leads to a lot of people losing jobs. That additional unemployment is cyclical unemployment. Now, as we mentioned, not all unemployment is a bad thing. So frictional and structural unemployment together make up natural unemployment. And this can also be expressed as a percentage. It would be a natural unemployment rate, which is the percentage of labor force that the natural unemployment makes up. Now, another concept to look at is full employment. When a country is at full employment, it does not mean that there is nobody unemployed. Achieving that would be very difficult and inefficient. Instead, full employment means we don't have any cyclical unemployment. All existing unemployment is only natural unemployment, which is either frictional or structural. This natural level of unemployment might vary due to a few factors, such as age distribution of the population, scale of recent structural changes that the country has experienced, real wage rate, and unemployment benefits. And lastly, of course, real GDP produced in the country and unemployment, they are interconnected. Remember from one of the previous videos, again you will see a link to that video at the top of the screen. Potential GDP is the maximum real GDP produced that can be sustained over long term. Another way of defining potential GDP is it is the real GDP that the country produces when it is at full employment. In other words, when it does not have cyclical unemployment. Within this relationship between GDP and unemployment, output gap plays a role, which is the difference between real GDP produced 
and potential GDP. The connection between real GDP and unemployment is such that whenever actual unemployment is greater than natural unemployment, it means we have some cyclical unemployment. It means we are experiencing a recession. And if we are in a recession, our actual GDP is below potential, and we have a negative output gap, and vice versa. If current levels of unemployment are smaller than natural levels of unemployment, it means we are experiencing a boom, a fast growth, or a fast expansion of the economy. Current GDP level is temporarily even greater than potential GDP, and output gap would be positive. That is all for today. Thank you for your attention.